Hello again. Today we're going to be looking at tractors. More specifically, all of them. I'm going to do a quick buyer's guide. Um, so you've got an idea of how to spend your hard-earned cash. Some of this will be my opinion based upon what I've used on the game. Some of it will be facts and figures taken straight from the game. Um, but just to get you to have a look at them in 3D, because uh, you can look at pictures uh, on the buying screen, but this is look at them in 3D and a bit of a rundown. Now this is the first tractor. This is the Bura RP71 off of the classic tractor pack. 72 horsepower, it costs you £18,000. I'm not sure what the top speed is on this, but that's of the classic tractor pack. Uh, if you like classic tractors, well, that's the Bura. It's Big Brother behind. Now sometimes you get this as a start tractor if you start a new map. This is the Bureau 6135. It's got 135 horsepower. It will cost you 58,000. It is a starter tractor. Top speed of 26 miles an hour. It's an old looking style, a uh, sort of boxy looking tractor. But it's a nice tractor. Good little start tractor uh, for around the yard. Moving on, we have the Ursus. This is the Ursus 15014. It's 148 brake horsepower, quite a chunky little tractor. It'll cost £82,000. It's got a top speed of 26 miles per hour. Uh, nice little tractor. Again, uh, you know, if you're going to invest your money, there are all different sorts for the same sort of money. You can get more horsepower, that kind of thing. But it's a nice little tractor. And then we move on to our Lintners. This is a Lintner BF. 450 of the classic tractor pack um, it has got 45 horsepower uh, it will cost you 15,000 pounds with a top speed of 19 miles per hour nice little tractor old school and then we've got the big brother this is the Lintner Geotrack 94 when you go to buy this it gives you the option of colors so you can pick whatever color you want for it it's got 102 brake horsepower and will cost you 94,000 top speed of 26 miles per hour Little drop nose on the front, uh, nice looking tractor, um, quite low horsepower for what you pay, uh, but the fact you can customise it whatever colour you want, it's quite a nice little touch, but that's the Lintner. Then move on to the Steyr, these are the Steyr 4115 Maltes, they have got 114 brake horsepower and they will cost you 105,000. These are the first of the front loader tractors we're going to look at today. You can attach a front loader to it, um, and this is an identical tractor, same horsepower, same amount of money, but it has this cage all around it. So if you're using your front loader, and like me, you often drop bales or things on yourself, uh, that's to protect you in your cab. So they're identical tractors, same money, same horsepower, um, just two different versions of the same one that you can buy. Nice little tractors, again, sort of the sweeping drop nose, looks a bit like a Valtra, those kind of things. Then we've got the same Same, I'm never quite sure how to say it, I think it's an Italian manufacturer. It's a Fortis 190, it's 190 brake horsepower, it will cost you 142,000. With the top speed of 32, this is a workhorse. Every single map I have, I have one of these. For the price, 190 brake horsepower, um, 32 mile an hour top speed, it's a, it's a really good tractor, solid workhorse, does all sorts of jobs, obviously it won't do the big machinery type stuff, but yeah, it's a solid tractor, I do like this one, always have one. Then move on to the Lamborghini, this is the Lamborghini Mark 230 VRT, it has 220 brake horsepower and it will cost you 195 thousand it's got a top speed of 38 so it's quite a fast one this is the first of what i like to call the chunky tractors i do like the ones where the front and rear tires wheels are almost the same size i do like that chunky look of a tractor it's a nice tractor this one 220 brake horsepower it's quite good um not overly pricey for what you get but nice tractor then we move on to the first of our kind of families of tractors we've got the hurleyman this is the hurleyman d 110 55 brake horsepower another one off the classic tractor pack um 19,000 pounds and top speed of 16 miles per hour you're not going to be whizzing around the farm so we've got the hurleyman h488 90 horsepower 37,000 pounds to buy um and 26 miles per hour this is another one that you get as a starter tractor a lot of the maps you'll get a hurleyman maybe two depends on what level you start on easy normal whatever um, it's another starter tractor nice little yard tractor quite low horsepower so you're not gonna get a lot out of it then we've got the big brother of the hurleyman it's the xm130 t4i i think it is um 130 horsepower 
150,000 to buy. Top speed of 26 miles an hour. Nice little tractor. I've never actually had one in the game. I've never owned one. Um, well, I suppose I own one now, technically. But, um, yeah, nice tractor. Like the drop nose. A lot of them have those now. Got a new design. Then we move on to our Deutz Fars. Now, the first one is a Deutz. It's a D80, 75 horsepower, another one off the classic tractor pack, 150, oh no, not 150,000, no, 20,000 to buy, uh, top speed of 19 miles per hour. Uh, I've had one of these, nice little tractor, pinging around the yard on. Um, then we've got the Deutz Fahr. So this is the uh, Deutz Fahr, this is the Agro Star 661, 143 brake horsepower, 51,000 to buy with a top speed of 26. This is another one of those tractors, it's a start tractor. You often get these when you start a map. Um, this is a good solid tractor, 143 horsepower, 51,000. You do tend to kind of fall in love with the tractors you start off with because you use them so much building up um, that when you do tend to upgrade, you don't want to get rid of them. Anyway, moving on, the big brother. This is the Deutz Fahr. 7250 TTV. It's got 263 brake horsepower. It will cost you 229,000, but it has a top speed of 38. I love this tractor. I've got one on every single map I do. Again, it's because I like that chunky style. It's got the front and rear tyres, almost the same sort of size. It's got good horsepower, good top speed. Um, it's a great tractor. I do like it. The interior is very good on it as well. Um, I just all round, I really, really do like this tractor. Um, I'm hoping on Farming Simulator 17 we might get some fence and things like that because I do like those as well. Anyway, big family of tractors, we're on to the New Hollands. So, this is the one that's got the most in the game. Five tractors from New Holland, plus a telehandler and combines. But we're going to start off with the T4 75. 75 horsepower, 64,000 to buy with a top speed of 26 miles an hour. This is uh, the next one in the line that has the front loader attachments. Um, if you're going to use this as a front loader, you definitely need to put a rear weight on around the back on the linkage because it's a small tractor, uh, relatively low horsepower, 75 horsepower. If I was going to do a front loader, I wouldn't use that one for it. So move on to the next one up is the T6 160. 160 horsepower, 157,000 to buy. Another one with a front loader attachment on my farms. If I'm going to have a front loader tractor, I'll have this one. It's the biggest horsepower, the chunkiest one that has a front loader attachment. It'd be nice if some of the other tractors had front loader attachments, the bigger ones. But if you're going to do a front loader, this is the one I would have. It comes down to personal preference. I do like New Hollands anyway. <coughs> so it's what you prefer really but it's a good tractor good solid tractor nice chunk one then we move on to the bigger ones this is a t8 320 320 brake horsepower wheels all round uh 254,000 to buy top speed of 32 miles per hour these this is the first of the big big tractors 320 horsepower this is for your big machinery your big jobs it's a much bigger tractor as you can see sitting next to the t6 it's a bigger tractor. Um, for some reason on the T8s they have these small front wheels. Um, I think there are versions of bigger chunky wheels. The T7s definitely do. Um, I, like I said, I do prefer the chunky ones, but it's a good solid tractor. Another T8, this is the T8435. It's 435 brake horsepower. This will set you back 312,000. Top speed of 32 miles per hour, but this is the Smart Track. Okay, the Smart Tracks because it has a set of tracks on the back. Um, Nice little touch, something a bit different. Um, 435 brake horsepower. This is a big, big beast. It'll, it'll do pretty much anything. If you are going to pull heavy, big loads in the back, front weight always advisable. Otherwise, the front wheels get a little bit skittery. Then we move on to the beast, um, the T9. This is the T9565. 565 brake horsepower. 348,000 to buy. 26 mile an hour top speed. Unlike PCs, PC modded versions where you can rent, which would be a great addition to Farming Simulator 17, um, because we can't rent on PS4, buying these tractors is a big, big investment. These are relatively limited because they can't, won't hook up to everything, and obviously there's no front three-point linkage, um, but they're big. They're, they'll pull all sorts of stuff. Now we move on to our case track. So... 
I'm going to start off with the bigger one in this row because the way I've done them. This is the Quad Track, the Quad Track 620. It has got 620 horsepower, it's got 692 brake horsepower. This will set you back 379,000. 26 mile an hour top speed, Quad Track because it has four tracks. Pivot in the middle, so it's got quite a good turning circle. This is one of the biggest ones. This, this is a monster. Um, it will pull a house. I mean, it is huge. Um, again, no front linkage, which is the only downside, really. Um, but to be fair, I'm not quite sure what you'd put on it other than the mower. Then we move on to the Case Magnum. This is the Case Magnum 380. 435 brake horsepower. Another one of the big tractors. Um, this will set you back 298,000. Top speed of 32. Only drawback to this one, again, no front three-point linkage. If I'm going to go for a big tractor, 435 brake horsepower, I'd go with the New Holland. Only because it's got the linkage front and rear. Um, that's the only downside. There are obviously different versions of the Case Magnum. And I'm pretty sure there are versions. And if you're a PC player and you download, there are mods with various different versions, different horsepowers. Um, but this one on the PS4 um, version, no front linkage. Only downside to it, but it's a lovely tractor. Plenty of grunt. Then the baby brother. We've got the Case Puma 160. 160 brake horsepower. No, it's not. It's 203 brake horsepower. I'll take that back. 203 brake horsepower. 172,000 to buy. Top speed of 32 miles per hour. Chunky little tractor. Quite nice. 203 brake horsepower. Quite a lot for a small compact tractor. Um, I do like them. Nice. Nice little thing. I Because I'm a New Holland fan, I'm always torn. It's a toss-up between getting one of those and getting a T6. Um, T6 has got less horsepower, so I've got 160, that's got 203. Don't know, only because I'm a New Holland fan, I guess. But no, nice. Case tractors, very, very good. So, I move on to the Z-Tours. The Z-Tours came uh, with the Gold Edition with this map, Sosnowska. Um I've got them in the wrong order because I did them sort of bigger to smaller. So I'm going to go to the smaller one first. We've got the Zetor Major 80. 75 horsepower. 58,000 to buy. Uh, top speed of, let me have a look, 26 miles per hour. Um, quite small, underpowered. Depends what you want, what you're doing on the farm. Um, I've never owned one of these. Um, nice looking little tractor. Uh, modern version of the Zetors. Uh, yeah, quite nice. So, moving on up to the next map, we've got the Proxima 120, 117 horsepower, 98,000 to buy. Um, this is, I believe, the last in our front loader tractors. Um, this will cost you, did I say 98,000? Yes, top speed of 26 miles per hour. Nice little tractor, if you want a front loader and something a bit different from a New Holland or, you know, the stay or whatever. So, move on. Now, this is an old style tractor, sometimes a start tractor on, I think on this map, this is a start tractor. This is the Zetor Crystal 12045, 121 brake horsepower, 52,000 to buy with a top speed of 19 miles per hour. Um, nice tractor, good horsepower, 121 brake horsepower um, for an old style tractor. That's why I kind of put them in this order, in order of horsepower. Uh, I do like the rear window, so you can look down at your hitch to hook up. It's a nice little touch. Um, again, you kind of fall in love with those start tractors. It's a nice one to have. And then the daddy of the Z-Tour range that we've got on this game. Anyway, the Z-Tour 150 HD, 147 brake horsepower, 136,000 to buy, top speed of 26. I do like it. Nice tractor. It's got a lovely engine sound when you turn it on as well. I know it sounds weird, but quite a deep rumbly uh, sort of engine sound. But... Yeah, nice tractor. That's the Z-Tours. So, moving on. We've got the JCBs. Now, JCBs are normally considered to be sort of construction tractors. Um, but we've got two on this map. Um, JCB Fast Tracks. The first one we've got is the 3230, I believe. Um, the 3230 has got 230 brake horsepower. It's got going to cost you 189,000 but the good thing with these is top speed of 44 miles per hour if you want a nippy tractor for whizzing around your farm um, it's got a nice amount of horsepower um, 230 and it's fast um, they're quite nice um, your purists don't necessarily like them because they're more of a construction tractor but they're nice then the bigger one of the two we've got the jcb 8310 310 horsepower 245,000 to buy uh, it's a big tractor, 
again 44 miles per hour top speed um very fast i suppose that's why they're called fast tracks um these are very narrow tractors very peculiar narrow very tall um but yeah nice tractors the jcb's very quick i tend to have one at least one on my on my farm i use them for logging tractors generally with the jcb equipment it kind of fits in now this is the surprise package i do like this this is the schluter 1500 tvl it will only cost you 37,000, which isn't very much, but it's got 150 horsepower. Top speed of 26. So for the price, it's an old looking style, very strange looking thing with that kind of swept back front cab. Um, but 150 horsepower for, for such a small amount. It's a very basic looking model, but it's got front and rear three point linkages. Um, and it's got the rear little windows as well. So you can look down on your hitch when you're hooking things up. It's a nice tractor. A um, bit of a surprise one, that, because you kind of look through when you look at the buyer's guide and you think, oh, I don't know, looks old, looks weird. Um, but 150 horsepower, it's not a bad tractor. Um, so if you haven't got much money and you want something with a bit of oomph, go for that. So the last of the classic tractors, we've got our Gildner G40. Uh, 38 horsepower, 14,000 to buy. A whopping 13 miles per hour top speed. Um then we move on to the uh no what have we got next the buka i believe comes next not quite sure why i paused for so long but there we go all oh, right the buka nice looking track to this nice kind of ergonomic design it looks quite futuristic i suppose in the day it was uh this is the buka d4000 38 horsepower 12,000 to buy with a top speed of 17 miles per hour nice little tractor and then last we've got the hats hearts i'm not quite sure uh the hearts uh h340 40 horsepower 13,000 to buy top speed of 18 miles per hour that's the last of the classic tractors small little things if you like a classic tractor knocking around the farm to make it look like you know it's been there forever that's all the tractors Apart from one, we're going to just whiz over now. We've got, if you've got the Holmer DLC, if you bought that, um, we've got the Holmer Terra Variant 600 Eco, Echo, depends what you say, uh, 598 horsepower. This is technically a tractor. It's got loads of attachments you can get with it, the slurry spreader, the manure spreader, there are the um, chaser bins for grain, one for sugar beet, um, it's an all-round versatile tractor. It's got um, a slurry spreader with the zoom hammer attachment on the back, so it cultivates and um, fertilises at the same time. It's a big vehicle. It costs, let me have a look, 249,000. Um, 26 mile an hour top speed. It's a tractor because it has a three-point linkage on the back, so it will link up to a lot of other stuff, not just a trailer hitch. So technically, a tractor. Um, it's a very versatile vehicle. If you're going to look around spending the 250000 on a tractor, this thing does a lot for the money. A lot of horsepower, pulls a lot of stuff. It's big and not a conventional tractor, but it is a tractor. Anyway, that was my tractor's buying guide. Hope it's been helpful. Um, good to see the tractors in 3D um, rather than just on a page. Bit of information. Some of it's my own personal opinion some of it is straight from the game itself and using them um but there we go tractors buying guide hope it's helpful spending your hard earned cash on a new tractor choose wisely thanks for watching